Hey friends, thanks so much for stopping by. Today, my DIYs are inspired by the song, Let It Snow, and they're all snow related. I really hope you enjoy them, so let's get busy. Getting started, I'm using one of the Dollar Tree signs and mine measures nine and a half by 13 and a half inches. But if you're making this project, you can always use one a little bigger or a little smaller, and I'll be working on the back. I'll be adding a different hanger, so I'm removing this one from the sign. I'm going to make a snowman's head in the bottom corner of my sign, and to do this I'm using a dinner plate. I decided how big I wanted my snowman's face to be, and then followed the shape of the plate with a pencil. I'm now using some gray acrylic paint and painting the background of my sign. With that complete, I'm now using my white acrylic paint and I'm filling in the area that will become the snowman's head. With that complete, I'm now using the same pencil and I'm outlining the shape of my snowman's head. I'm just kind of sketching out the shape and then using my finger to smudge it and it ends up giving it a nice smoky edge. When I'm done, I then use my pencil and work my way around the outside edge, and once again, I'm just smudging it in with my fingers. To make the snowman's nose, I'm using a large craft stick. If you don't have any of these on hand, you can always use a piece of cardboard. I measured and marked mine at 6 inches. Then on the end that I had marked, I drew a long thin triangle. Because this wood is fairly thin, I then used my scissors to cut out the shape. The sides were a bit sharp where I cut them out, so I just used a piece of sandpaper and sanded them down till they were smooth, and then I rounded the two ends at the bottom of the stick. With that complete, I'm using some of the Dollar Tree's orange acrylic paint, and I'm giving it a coat on one side. Once it's dry, I'm using my pencil and just making some lines randomly here and there, like you might see on a real carrot. When I'm done, I then smudge the marks with my fingers. I then use my pencil and work my way around the outside edge, and I smudge that as well. I'm using two small wooden circles for the snowman's eyes and I picked this pack up at Michael's. I used some of the Dollar Tree black acrylic paint and I gave them both a coat. With the carrot nose and the two eyes complete, I'm finding their placement on the snowman's face. I'm now using my E6000 to attach them permanently in place. I added some to the back of the carrot, attached that in place, and then because my tube has a wide opening, I just used the end of a wooden skewer and attached that to the back of the eyes, and then attached those in place as well. I'm adding a snow accent to my picture, and I placed some of the same white acrylic paint on the end of a paintbrush, and now with another paintbrush, I'm just tapping it all over the picture. This is a splattering effect, and I do this on a lot of my projects. I love it because you really can't mess it up. You're just kind of tapping the paint here and there, and it just goes wherever it wants. I picked up the wooden word Believe at the Dollar Tree, and it came in a two-pack. I'm using some red acrylic paint, and I'm giving the front a coat. I let it dry, and then using my E6000, I placed some on the back. I then attached it and centered it on the top of my sign. I'm adding on some snowflakes, and I'm using four of these silver and four of these wooden snowflakes that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I used my white acrylic paint, and I painted all four of the wooden snowflakes. 
with the snowflakes dry, I'm adding my white and my silver together. And once again, I'm using my E6000. I place some on the end of the skewer and then attach the two together. This next step is completely optional. I have a box of crystals and I had picked these up a while ago at Michael's. I'm going to attach one in the center of each snowflake. I once again used the skewer and added some E6000 to the center of each snowflake and then attached the crystals. I gave them some time to set up and now I'm adding some E6000 to the back of each snowflake and then I'm randomly placing them on my sign. I'm giving my sign a white ribbon hanger and I just pushed it through the two front holes and tied knots in the back. I'm giving my snowman a fleece scarf and I found this one at the Dollar Tree. I placed it on the sign and gave myself about a four to five inch overhang. And then I cut about two inches wider than the sign. I have my cut fabric and I cut about a six inch length of the same ribbon that I used for the hanger. I gathered the fabric together at about the four to five inch mark and then tied it off with my ribbon. I added some hot glue on my snowman's neck and attached the gathered end there. I slightly folded over the bottom and attached that with my hot glue and then did the same to the top. I then hot glued the end of the scarf on the back of my sign. Using my scissors, I'm cutting up the middle of the overhanging fabric. I'm now using my glue gun to attach the two ends and folding them into the center. With that complete, I'm adding a little pom-pom that I had on hand into the center of the gathered fabric and I just used my hot glue gun. And with that, my snowman picture is complete. Today I'm participating in the Christmas with Friends collab and it's hosted by my two favorite cousins Kay and Trish from Crafting Cousins. They have an amazing channel with so many beautiful DIYs and they even made me an honorary cousin. Be sure to check them out on the playlist with my other crafty friends and join in on the chance to win three awesome prizes. If you're visiting after midnight on December 16th, 2022, the giveaway is closed, but I hope you enjoy the playlist and the rest of my video. And now here's how you enter. Today we are teaming up with some of our crafty friends for a Christmas collaboration. We are all so thankful for each and every one of you and wanted to be able to do a giveaway just in time for Christmas. We are excited to announce that we will have three winners. Don't skip forward, watch the rest of this clip to see what you have to do to have a chance to win and how you can qualify. If you are looking for a beautiful piece to dress up your home or to give as a gift, check out Tailored Canvases. They have gorgeous canvases for every room of your home and you can even get a personalized canvas. Tailored Canvases will be gifting one lucky friend with a canvas of their choice up to a size of 24 by 48 inches. These are high quality home decor pieces that you are sure to love. Hop over to their website listed below and check out all they have to offer. Next, we have Totally Dazzled. No matter what the occasion, if you want to add a little sparkle or a lot of bling, you can find the perfect pieces at Totally Dazzled. They have gorgeous pieces that can be used to dress up your craft projects, give the perfect sparkle to your table, or even add to your wedding. 
Totally Dazzled has generously provided a $50 gift certificate for one lucky friend to use on whatever they would like from their website. Make sure you follow the link in the description box below to go check out all of their beautiful pieces. Last but certainly not least, we have a Sherbonder Grace Monroe Glue Skillet Kit. You will see Trish using hers in the Crafting Cousins video and we'll see just how handy it is, especially when working with florals. It saves your fingers from burns and is an invaluable tool that any crafter would love to get, especially at Christmas. Follow the link in the description box to get even more information on this amazing gift. Now, how do you qualify? Watch all five videos in the collaboration. Each creator will ask you a specific question somewhere in their video. Leave your answer to the question in the comments and you are entered to win. You must answer the question for each of the five videos to be eligible. We will be drawing for our winners on Saturday, December 17th and will announce the winners on the community tabs for our channels. Please be advised that Tailored Canvases, Totally Dazzled, and Surebonder are providing these amazing gifts at no charge in connection with these videos. Also, please note that this giveaway is in no way associated with YouTube, and YouTube is not responsible for anything regarding the giveaway. As always, we would like to thank you for your support. We appreciate you all. Good luck in the drawings, and Merry Christmas! If you're new to my channel, please consider clicking on that little red subscribe button below and leaving me a thumbs up. And to all my returning friends, I'm always so happy to see you. I'm starting my sock snowman by using one of these white men's sport socks from the Dollar Tree. To give him some weight and to balance him, I'm using some of these bath salts and I picked these up at the Dollar Tree as well. I found the easiest way to fill it is to place the end of the sock over the mouth of the jar. To fill out the head section, I'm using a handful of polyfill. I'm placing it inside and on top of the bath salts. With that in place, I'm now using a rubber band and I'm tying off the top of the sock. I'm now using my scissors and I'm cutting down the center of the top sock and making sure that I don't cut low enough to hit the rubber band. I'm now making two tight knots with the fabric and then cutting off the extra ends. To give my snowman a shape, I'm now using another rubber band and I'm placing it over the area in between where the polyfill meets the bath salts. For the snowman's hat and sweater, I'm using a pair of fuzzy women's socks and I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. I'm only using one and to make the hat, I'm cutting it just below the heel. Now that I have it cut, I'm going to turn it inside out. To give my hat a little hem, I'm adding some hot glue about a half inch from the end and I'm just folding it over. When one side was complete, I then finished up on the other. After the glue cooled, I then turned the hat back to the right side. To add it, it's now as easy as just slipping it over the snowman's head. To make the pom-pom, I'm using a piece of white ribbon and I'm wrapping it around the top of the hat where the white separates from the blue and I'm just tying it into a knot and making the little pom-pom. By tying those knots on the top of the snowman's head, this fills out the area to make the pom-pom. I'm using my hot glue gun and I'm adding some under the hat and working my way around to attach it to his head. With that complete, we're now going to add on his sweater and I'm using the rest of the sock. I'm sliding the uncut end of the sock up 
and over the snowman and stopping at his neck. I'm now evenly folding the cut ends up and under the sock. And now, just like the hat, I'm using my glue gun and hot gluing the sock to the body. I'm adding some buttons onto my snowman and I went through my button jar and I found two small black buttons for his eyes and two silver for the buttons on his sweater. For the carrot nose, I'm folding the end of an orange pipe cleaner and then I'm twisting it and snipping it off. To add the eyes, buttons, and nose to my snowman, I just hot glued each in place. When making this snowman, I added in those scented bath salts, so he's not only just cute to look at, but he smells really good too. For his scarf, you can add on some fabric or cord, I'm using a pretty piece of snowflake ribbon that I had on hand. Mine is two and a half inch, so to make it a little smaller, I folded both sides into the center. I then wrapped it around his neck and cut it to size. I then tied the ribbon around his neck and hot glued the two pieces together. To give the ends a more finished look, I dovetailed them, which is super easy. I just folded those ends in half and cut away at an angle. As a finishing accent, I'm using one of these wooden snowflake stickers from the Dollar Tree. And I painted mine with some white acrylic paint. I'm using my glue gun and attaching it to the center of the snowman's hat. To give the snowflake a little sparkle, I'm using one of these small crystal jewels and I picked this box up at Michael's. I once again used my glue gun and attached it in the center of the snowflake. To finish up, I placed some pink blush on the end of a cotton swab and made two little cheeks on his face. And with that, this little snowman is complete. My question for the giveaway is, what is your favorite month of the year? Mine is July because I love the summer. Good luck everyone and leave your answer below in the comments. Getting started, I'm using three sets of the four wooden snowflakes and I found these at the Dollar Tree. Each set is attached by a little string so I cut them free from each other and now I have 12 separate snowflakes. Before I glue them together, I want to find their placement, so I'm lining them up and I'm overlapping the ends to form an oval. I'm attaching my snowflakes together using my Starbond Thick Glue and this is my go-to glue for all my unfinished wood projects. These snowflakes won't come apart once I use it and it sets up super quick. If you'd like to give it a try, I do have the company linked below in my description. I added the glue to the ends of my snowflakes and attached them together. I made sure to use a generous amount and overlap the ends of the snowflake as I attach them to get that oval shape. I 
I kept adding on the glue, working my way around until all my snowflakes were attached. I'm using my white acrylic paint and I'm giving my wreath a top coat. This took me some time to paint because there are so many of those little nooks and crannies in all of the individual snowflakes. So if you don't want to hand paint it and you do have some white spray paint on hand, that would work out great too. Now that it's dry, I'm going to give it a bit of a sparkle using some of these larger crystal jewels. I picked these up at Michael's and I've used them in some of my other projects. I'm using E6000 to make sure that they're permanently attached and I just added some to the center of each snowflake and then added on my crystal jewel. You probably can add hot glue to attach them, but I just wanted to make sure that they wouldn't fall off. While those are setting up, I'm going to paint this wooden let it snow sign that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I'm using some pretty blue acrylic paint and I'm painting all the letters and excluding the snowflake. With the blue complete, and even though you're not really going to see it, I did paint the snowflake white. With my sign dry, I'm going to distress it just a bit, and I'm using a light grit sandpaper. I'm using my sandpaper, and I'm sanding around the outside and the inside of all the letters. I chose to do this for my wreath, but this step is completely optional. I'm using some of the small crystal jewels and I'm attaching them onto the Let It Snow sign as an accent. I'm giving my sign a coat of Mod Podge and I'm also going to use this as the glue. After I added on the Mod Podge, I then attached the crystals. I placed them at the top and the bottom of the letters and then just kind of randomly here and there. While I was adding the jewels, I did make sure to add one over the hole where the original hanger was. I continued working my way around the sign, adding the Mod Podge until all my letters had their sparkle. I'm now adding my sign and my snowflakes together. I centered the Let It Snow sign in the middle of my wreath. Now using my glue gun, I'm attaching it into place. You can use E6000 to attach it, but I found that the glue gun worked just as well. To cover up the snowflake on the sign, I'm using one of these pretty white snowflake ornaments and I picked this up at the Dollar Tree. I removed the hanger and then I used my scissors to cut a little point so it would match the other end and remove the hanger hole. I then added some hot glue to the snowflake on the sign and attached the ornament. I'm making two bows for my wreath and I'm using two two and a half inch snowflake ribbons and I had picked these up at Michael's. To attach them together, I'm cutting in half a 12 inch piece of floral wire. I'm using my bow maker and I found this on Amazon. I match the two ends of my ribbons up. I'm giving myself a five inch tail and two four inch loops and then another five inch tail. To attach my bow together, I'm placing my half piece of floral wire over the center and then twisting it on the back tightly. To give the ends a more finished look, I'm going to dovetail them, which is super easy. I just folded the two ribbons in half and cut away the end at an angle. With that complete, I cut about a three inch piece of the outside ribbon, then folded the two sides into the center. I then added some hot glue to the center of my bow and wrapped the small piece of ribbon around it. I then turned it over and glued down the two end pieces. When I finished this bow, I then made another. Adding them to the wreath, I placed down my first bow and twisted the wires around the snowflake. I then added my second bow facing my first and followed the exact same instructions. To finish up, I added some hot glue under each of the bows. 
I fluffed out my ribbons and now my Let It Snow wreath is ready to hang. Here we are at the end of the video and I really hope you enjoyed making these Let It Snow inspired DIYs with me. Be sure to check out the Christmas with Friends playlist and if you're new to my channel and you're thinking, hey, I'd like to come back and hang out with her again, don't forget to click that little red subscribe button below. I'll see you all very soon. Bye everybody!